Hello, and welcome to day six in the Parkinson's 52 universe. Thank you for joining us. I want to emphasize again that I welcome your questions and comments. Just send me a tweet or a Facebook message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Today we're going to talk about the remaining three pieces of our musical pie. Conducting, singing, and what I've termed relaxation. In his wonderful book, Goodbye Parkinson's Hello Life, author Alex Curtin talks about conducting as one of his 13 exercises for life to reduce symptoms of PD. I've always enjoyed conducting from the time I was a little kid and a pretend conductor through the time I was a drum major in the high school band. But today, we're going to talk about a more important aspect of conducting in a therapeutic sense. Here are a few quotes from Mr. Curtin's book. In these four quotes, you can sense his emphasis on getting into the flow of the music rather than the mechanics. You see a reference to rhythm, as we've discussed in my prior videos on neurologic music therapy, or NMT. Note also his references to body forms, breathing patterns, and facial expressions. In these last three quotes, Curtin again emphasizes mood, rhythm, flow, and getting in touch with your friend, your body. I'm enjoying conducting as one of a number of exercise therapies I use to keep me moving, as well as a relaxation technique. The following clips show you the different types of music you can use for conducting. In reviewing the clips, I saw some things I need to work on. See if you can pick up on these and we'll talk about them shortly. These are the things I saw in these clips that I need to improve on to get the maximum benefit from conducting. They are all basic principles of the conducting exercise as a PD therapy. Keep these in mind when you give conducting a try. I know it will help you and it's a lot of fun too. Let's talk about singing for a little bit. If you're having trouble with your voice because of PD, I encourage you to try singing. If you prefer a group setting, look around for a group that might be appropriate for you. I sing by myself. Sort of. I use the app called Sing Karaoke by Shmuel. It's a free app that provides a platform for you to sing karaoke in your own private space. Solo or duet or more. With other sing people around the world. Sing has a large library of karaoke music you can choose from. Or if you have your own favorite piece of music, you can upload it to the Sing site. I have three people that I enjoy singing with particularly, and they live in three different countries. This gentleman lives in Wales, and his name is Halier Hughes. He's a PWP, and he first made me aware of Sing. Here's what the app looks and sounds like when you're singing and recording karaoke style. You could see how you read the lyrics right on your mobile device with visual cueing to indicate when you're supposed to sing. When you're satisfied with your recorded track and you can redo it as many times as you want to. You save it and it comes out something like this. They took my saddle in Houston, broke my leg in Santa Fe. The app is very easy to use and it's a lot of fun and it's excellent exercise for your vocal cords, your lungs, and even your mind. I encourage you if you're interested at all in singing to give it a try. Let's switch for a moment to the final piece of the pie, a category I've loosely labeled relaxation. PWPs are well aware of the relationship between stress and PD symptoms. 
We could spend another whole week talking about that. I know that I just come apart when I'm under emotional stress. My right leg tremor kicks in. I can't think. I just feel awful. That's why I make every effort to try to focus on doing things, exposing myself to things, and being with people that make me happy. The word relaxation doesn't completely capture what I'm thinking of. It includes things like meditation, getting in touch with yourself, yoga, qigong, bao danza, which a lady from Venezuela made me aware of yesterday, those kind of things. I'm certainly not an expert in this area, probably because I don't do nearly enough of it. To say there are thousands of books available on these topics would probably not be an exaggeration. There are books specific to PD, and here's just two that I have. One is Alex Curtin's book, which I referred to you when we were talking about conducting, and the other is Bianca Molay's book on Qigong and PD. Many of the meditation or relaxation techniques include the use of music. You can also find relaxing music supplemented with video on YouTube. I use this quite a bit and I do find it very relaxing. If you have a religious based spiritual life, you might try stepping that up a notch if you feel drawn in that area. It might be your most effective activity in this regard. Before we conclude, I'd like to tip our collective hats to the wonderful professionals who are sometimes forgotten even trashed, inside our worldwide network of PWPs. That's our neurologists. Sometimes we can't seem to live with them. We know we can't live without them. These doctors have studied and trained so hard. I'd like to recognize particularly my neurologist, Dr. William Ando. Dr. Ando is a dedicated, patient-focused physician and an active researcher. Joy and I heard him give a presentation on PD this week, and I was surprised that he had a much more holistic view of PD treatment than I had realized from our office visits. Maybe we PWPs should ask more questions of our neurologists. Well, that wraps it up for Parkinson's 52 Week 16. I'd like to thank David Sangster for giving me the opportunity to share with you. I've really enjoyed visiting with you this week, and I hope you've heard or seen something that will help you live well with PD. As I said in my day one video, there are things you can do to live well with PD besides taking your medicine and waiting for it to get worse. That's not what I choose to do, and I hope you've charted a positive course for yourself. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for someone you love or someone who loves you. Please feel free to contact me anytime. I'd love to hear from you. I wish you the very best and for your loved ones too. Until we meet again, don't forget our motto.